organic, unpredictable, unknown, lovely, beautiful, a sense of fulfillment. This is part of the pleasures of life and not the chores of life. Thanks for tuning in to your Wednesday edition of Daily Island, your news, sports, and weather source for the Daily Island. I'm Kristen Meyer, here to give you an update at what's going on in the Iowa City area. A new performing arts center in Coralville is set to open in late August. The new center will have a theater that will seat 482 guests. The entire project cost roughly $3 million, part of which came from grants. The building will be a mixed-use building that includes three floors of commercial use and three floors of residential area. Underneath the center will be a 300-car parking garage. The center plans to have a ceremonial weekend filled with many events for its opening weekend. The first production will be Hairspray, performed by the City Circle Acting Company of Coralville. The increase in downtown rent prices has some business owners relocating. The ceramic shop Fired Up is one business that has had to relocate after 13 years in the downtown area. It's now located at 520 East Washington Street. Fired Up saw a 5 to 6 percent increase in rent every year. Along with many other businesses like Fired Up, increased taxes have become an expensive burden. Further costs for downtown businesses could, be, could increase if the self-supported Municipal Improvement District is approved. The self-supported Municipal Improvement District is part of the Downtown Association as well as the collaboration between business owners and the city. The district would add a tax of $2 per $1,000 of assessed property value to generate funds of events attracting retail and such improvements. Fired Up is only one of the several businesses affected in the increasing cost of rent. Iowa City Police located over 400 grams of marijuana on Tuesday night in the Iowa City man's car. Alton Big O Thomas Jackson has received multiple charges pertaining to the police's discovery. Police said they stopped Jackson for failing to stop at a stop sign. Another Iowa City man was arrested after throwing bags of cocaine out of his car window. Ricky Van Keith Mallard was previously charged with driving while barred, controlled substance violation, and obstruction of as evidence. It turns out that college students aren't the only creatures who can live off just, ca just caffeine. Scientists at the UI have made groundbreaking discoveries with bacteria that can do the same. Daily Iowans Dana Davidson is here with more details. Scientists discovered the bacteria in this plot of land in the soil just outside the research facilities on the University of Iowa Oakdale campus. The project began in 2007 with scientists who sought to use this bacteria to further develop the uses of caffeine. All right, so this is the bacteria growing right here. The discovery was led by UI chemical and biochemical engineering doctoral student Ryan Summers. We're, we've been the first ones to show that there are more than one enzyme that are on breaking the caffeine down. And so if we could then take the caffeine out of the coffee grounds, then that might actually be able to use to produce ethanol from that. Or it could be used as animal feed. So it's basically taking a waste product and, and converting it to something that's more valuable and, and that can continue to be used. This discovery could also create more affordable medicine. The, the biggest aspect of this would be um, trying to produce cheaper pharmaceuticals. So, so if we can take our, our ca the caffeine, which is a really cheap molecule, and use our bacteria to, to change it, all of a sudden you've, you've created this other compound that's, a, that's being used as a pharmaceutical. And the applications of this bacteria are seemingly endless. There are, are pharmaceuticals that could be used to treat asthma or improve blood flow, treat cardiac arrhythmias. Summers and fellow researchers are also working on another caffeine thriving bacteria and hopefully with more impressive results to come. Dana Davidson, Daily Iowan TV. Thank you, Dana. In Hawkeye sports, former Hawkeye golfers Brad Hotfinger and Vince India finished top 20 during the 50th annual Suhana Amateur Tournament for Champions. The Suhana Amateur Tournament takes place in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and the event hosts 75 com computers. In addition to their win at the Suhana Amateur, Hotfinger and India had many highlights during their time as Hawkeyes. Hotfinger and India led the Hawkeyes to tie 10th place at the 2011 NCAA Men's Golf Championship. The duo was also part of school history by finishing ninth in the country 
by GolfStat.com during the 2010-2011 season. Now on to Daily Iowan sports reporter Ben Schuff with another sports update. Thanks, Kristen. Today, Iowa Athletic Director Gary Barta announced the resignation of women's golf head coach Kelly Crawford. Crawford declined to comment, but did say in the release, quote, My time here meant the world to me. I loved being a Hawkeye, and my players will always have a special place in my heart. Barta said in the release that the search for a new head coach begins immediately. Back to you, Kristen. Thank you, Ben. Only with the Daily Island can you get a sneak peek at Thursday's pages of the Daily Island. Read about Patch, a new online news organization, and also read about how the Iowa workforce development is making budget cuts and shifting operations. And now for a quick look at the weather. Tomorrow's forecast will be a high of 83 and a low of 65. It'll be mostly sunny with a 30% chance of storms in the evening. And for your six day forecast, we will see highs and lows in the 80s and the 60s. Sunday looks like the clouds will part and the sun will shine. Monday through Wednesday look promising for nice summer weather. Well, that's the inside look at what's going on in the Iowa City area. Tune in tomorrow at the same time or check us out at dailyiowan.com. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Iowan News. I'm Kristen Meyer.